go how is everyone doing this fine friday afternoon a live stream that's not in the middle of the night as mr trunk said um uh, <laughs> diversifying he says does it hurt yeah it does a little bit um five cheers for my wonderful wife thank you very much honey um mr cuts pinoy gaming miss moab trunks um that intro is seriously cool man it took me about four hours to edit that but uh, I could do it again in probably about a quarter of the time now that I know how to do it. It took about four hours of figuring out. Well, three hours of figuring out and probably about 30 to 45 minutes of doing. So, yeah, and thank you. I watch ads for you. Thank you very much. Keyboard Monkey, just in time to watch Vigram on the 52-inch. Hey, very cool. Good way to do it. Welcome, welcome. I'm kind of feeling things out here in the new, the new digs for the Coop Life 2 series. Uh, the Coop Street Mafia is going to be getting into some casino action in the new series when it starts up. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm actually going to be planning out what is happening and where. Um, we know what world seed we're going to be using. That has been passed out to everybody that's going to be on the server. Patrons, pack maker associates, you know, everybody else that's part of the league that is going to be participating. They all know what the world seed is. And as a matter of fact, there is a thread... Uh, official forum, uh, subreddit, thread, right there. That is the official subreddit thread over on the official, uh, League of Ordinary Gamers subreddit. We've got a thread going where we're going to be tracking whose base is going to be where, what the world seed is, maybe what people are going to be specializing, what they're going to be looking for. I've posted our coordinates, so if you want to use the world seed in a single player instance when we release the pack to the public, then you, you will be able to do that. Um, Pinoy Gaming says, all right, darn, right as I get happy, something shoots it down. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, so, um, we have the official, um, uh, uh, server, let's see, the world seed, so you can play along at home if you wanted to. You're going to be able to find all of our coordinates. You could go to the same place different people are starting from. I'll try and do base tours regularly around the server as people are actually playing um, as the series progresses. The usual stuff. The usual stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and swap on over here. So mountains. Okay. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. I'm going to bring up my map. And I, let's see, okay, yeah, we're right here looking this way into what I've dubbed the Copper Mountains, because if I see copper in it, 
Uh, I know, it's an elaborate name. Uh, I think we have a lava problem over there. But this mountain range is going to be our new base. Um, if we zoom out far enough, spawn is way down here. This is the spawn farm that I've been working out of. My little shack is right over here. And so basically, it's basically due northeast from there. The coordinates, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner of the map there, we're at X560, negative 600, basically. Ne Z, negative 600. Hey, Dark Preacher, what's going on? And uh, yeah, uh, this is where we're going to be setting up and making home, I think. Um, it's a pretty big mountain range. We could probably share it with some other folks, but... Um, I have some pretty expansive ideas, so I hope they don't mind chickens. Um, I figure we're going to start on this corner right here. And we're going to make a building that is going to actually press into both faces here. We're probably going to shear out, like, this layer all the way down. Like, basically, everything from this layer over... All of these layers will get sheared off, so it's going to be a vertical wall right here. Same thing will probably happen right here. We're going to have a big squarish looking building. It's probably going to have a lot, of, a lot of white. I'm thinking of maybe marble or something else that we could design with. Um, and it is going to be a big, flashy kind of a casino looking building. Um, because it's going to be a casino. Uh, <laughs> uh Yeah, Dark Preacher says he'll be hopping on later today for a place to build. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Is it pronounced that I pronounce Z as Z? Like ZPM? Yeah, no, that's Canadian. It's okay. It's allowed. Um, I watch enough TV shows that are from overseas. I do the same thing. Running to his chair. I'm coming, says Boxbot. It's okay. Boxbot had a uh, job interview, a phone interview earlier today. He's He's allowed to be late. It's cool. Yeah, it's never bad to be Canadian unless it's winter. I'm going to see if I can make some ah, fine-tuned adjustments to my office fan here. I'm going to Debois. Say, hey, what's going on, Fox? Uh, not much. Um, It's okay. Don't rush yourself. Don't stress. It's chill, man. It's all chill. It's Friday afternoon. I'm in a good mood. Mostly. There's things to be sad about, but I'm soldiering on. Um... So, yeah, we are going to be doing a lot of uh, money laundering and craft for the uh, Coop Street Mafia. So we're going to have a lot of legit business fronts, one of which is going to be the Copper Mountains Resort and Casino. And I already have design plans. I have a location set up. I know how we're going to build things out. We're going to burrow into the mountain. We're going to have some public rooms and, and hallways, other private rooms and hallways. Mr. Fox has just joined me. Hi, Fox. Do you have a, um, a chicken skin yet? Yes, but I haven't. Let's go do that. <laughs> it's okay. Because if you remember, it's the one that was that cuts me, and it's really good. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, mine just has sunglasses. Fox will be fancier. Um, okay. So, we've got... Let's see. Um... Lots of space. What I figure we can do. Uh, Dark Preacher says, uh, clearing out room for new bits. These old, these day old bits. I uh, have these day old bad. Thank you very much, Preacher. Um, I figure what we do is we're going to have a big building right down here in this corner. It's going to kind of be facing out. Probably have a nice corner entrance. And then we'll have hallways running into the mountain. This will be like a five or six story building here. That's going to have some nice resort rooms overlooking the moors. Um, we'll maybe have some uh, kind of uh, 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 lounging kind of a pool area right over there. Little walkways going around to the side. Um, I don't know if we need a parking lot or a parking garage. Maybe we'll make one. I'm not sure. Um, it's like day old Timbits, but less edible. Uh, I figure we'll have a back entrance over here coming out of the building right to here. And we can inset like a pool area with some nice cobblestone and maybe some marble trim around the walking areas. We could do some stairs down here to some kind of a garden, kind of a lounging space, put some trees, level it out a little bit more and make it look nicer. Um, then what we wanted that we could do, oh, there you are. Hey, that's a good looking skin. I remember that one. We're flapping for our lives here. 
<laughs> um, uh, then I figure we could do is like inside this side of the mountain, we could actually have some nicer like penthouse kind of suites that overlook the central area. I got a lot of plans. It's going to involve a lot of marble, unfortunately, but I have a plan for that too. Um, then we can have some kind of secret doors behind like the administrative desk and whatnot that go into the lower levels of the mountains and burrow back into it where we're going to be putting our legit base stuff. Um, well, depending on how we want to do the doors, I know vanilla door mechanics. Oh, can, door mechanics. can you do uh, uh, vanilla hidden doors? Yeah. Okay, uh, cool. It's it's, a, it's official. You're, it's redstone, a, but <laughs> it's official. You're our security expert. Um, okay, but we've got this kind of multi-terraced area. We could do some tree farm, like a compact kind of a tree farm space right back here. Even it out, remove some of the gravel, make it a little more level and ledge-like. Um, we could have a kind of a garden and kind of a seating space down here. Uh, for the I guests. can see like water running down this terrace going into the garden. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. And uh, we're going to use a lot of the natural features. I want to have some kind of elevators going up to some of these higher spots. And we can do little observation domes just kind of set on top there. Lots of little high peak space. Like right here, we could do an observation, flatten this out just a little bit, and do a kind of a nice marble observation deck with some railing. Um, we could maybe mock up some chiseling bits, kind of, um, what are those viewer things called? You put a quarter in and you look into them. They're kind of bulky and cube-like. The, they're scopes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, those quarter the name of them. Mage Luke says, Greetings, Vagram, wielder of the voice. Long bleep time no see. Hope everything is well. What's going on, Mage Loop? How are you? Um, how far away from spawn are you, says Pirate Tech? I can tell you exact... Wait, 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 wait. I can tell you exactly right now where the front building, the front offices, like the front of the actual casino is going to be. Right here. And spawn is about 860, 850 blocks away, basically. Telescopes, thank you very much. We have a floating blob over here. <clears throat> we do. I'm not sure if we're going to keep it or not. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter right now because this is going to get reset. But after the reset, there's a distinct possibility there might be a slight variation that might not be there. If it is there, um, I had a dumb idea. We could always put a big casino sign on it. <laughs> put a giant casino sign on it and then maybe a couple thrusters <laughs> yeah exactly we just make some chisels and bits things that look like fire or something coming off of it and then we put a big casino sign on top of it um, if we're really clever we could do some redstone and use some lamps because I think we have some multicolored lamps in this pack through various mods I think actually additions is one of them so we could do some lamp like stuff use some timers with uh, uh, RF tools because it has redstone timers, and we could make it blink on and off periodically. I think that'd be cool. Make the casino itself a chicken. No, actually, what we're going to do... I've got ideas for this. We're going to have normal floors. Then we're going to have some specialty floors that are going to be for our abbreviated height guests that are going to be specifically designed for those of shorter stature. So we're going to have some regular floors. It'll be three and four blocks clearance in the rooms. And we're going to have other ones that are going to only be two blocks clearance in the rooms. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, Sam World Seed is before. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll post this I'm again. Gonna, I'm posting the seed in the street uh, chat. Uh, actually, if you want to, there is um, that. The official Reddit thread that's got the world seed and where everybody's bases are going to be. Oh, trunks. So, yeah, the official Reddit thread that we've done for the League of Ordinary Gamers, official Reddit, we need to get people to start using it. Most people don't know it exists. It exists. Go figure. Um, see you later, Pinoy. I appreciate it. Um, so, yes, what we're going to do is in that thread, it's got the world seed. It's got formatting for where we're going to have our bases. If you're playing along at home using the same world seed, you could put your base location in there to kind of give other people for on our team ideas or maybe good places to go for a good base base establishment. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. We're going to have the front building, the front of the casino, the main kind of tower right here, and then we're going to have some sky bridges that are going to stretch out 
from the building. It's going to be real close to the mountain, but we'll have some little brief kind of tunnels that will connect into the mountainside. And the top kind of half or the top third of the mountain range is going to be all of the casino kind of outdoor stuff and guest-related areas. And then the bottom two-thirds is going to be Coop Street Mafia space. So, yeah. For a good base call. Exactly, Night Pirate. Um, yeah. Uh, I think this is going to be a really cool box. I was thinking over here. This had some water. Where was it? It was right. Nope. Lost it. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Right here. Um, actually, you'll do fine. I'm just going to grab you. Right there was water coming down and then going over this way. What I figured was, if we wanted to keep that, we could, but... We get some water coming down the mountainside here, and then this was empty and full of, you know, grass blocks and erratic stuff. We empty it out, have some natural water flowing down into it. We could replace some of these grass blocks with kind of like some marble or cobblestone edging and make it look nice um, and uh, kind of look like an outdoor kind of pool lounge area space. We could do a walkway around the corner to the front of the building um, or put an entrance on the side somewhere. It'd be really nice, I think. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Of course, hopefully there won't be cows in the pool, but fingers crossed. Um, uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Of course, and then Minecraft water physics don't want to water. <laughs> no, they don't. Why make things easy? Come on, Fox. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do... I want to do a pool bar... On the upstairs pool, this one is going to be just kind of an outdoor lounging and swimming space. We'll put a slightly higher water level when we do it. But um, Oops. up here, I want to have another smaller pool that's just one block deep with water. And we can put a, a bar, a pool bar right there, um, which does make me wonder if we need to put... Do we need to put bottom shelf in the pack? Our alcohol mod... I kind of forgot about it. You're all mine. Um, yeah, that that might fit, actually. That might be a really good thing, given so many of the other things we have in the pack. Robert Collins, hey, Vagrant, if the cows go for a dip in the pool, charge them for it. It sounds like a good idea. Yeah, um, hey, Gabbro, what's going on? Yeah, barbecue food stall. We'll probably do some food stalls. We're going to have a vending machine mod. Uh, in the pack, we have a casino mod in the pack. We have a lot of decorative blocks in the pack. Um, so we have all the tools here. The only thing we might need is some alcohol. So I might slip in bottom shelf. We'll see. Mm. Benny's has alcohol in it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So yeah. Um... I think there's going to be a lot of possibilities. If we wanted to stretch the casino all the way across, we could put some of the high roller rooms up here in this back tower, this back mountain section. And uh, so they could be up here looking down on like the garden and terrace area. We could do a room, I mean, a, a, a kind of an entryway built into the wall right here and have elevators going up and have them kind of stick out just slightly out of the wall so that it's kind of, um, I don't want to say bay window, but you know, cantilevered, slightly cantilevered out from the actual wall itself. We could put a doorway like right here. An entryway into a kind of an elevator hallway that would go all the way up. We could have some penthouse suites cantilevered out a little bit. Put some really nice tinted glass. This way they could actually look out onto the gardens and the terraces and the outdoor pools. I do think I think this thing's going to have to go. Kind of it ugly. doesn't fit anywhere. Yeah, it's kind of ugly, and we could fit something else here if we wanted to. I don't know. I think it'd be funny if we had a spa. You know how um, we've got the biomes of plenty mo or biomes that actually have mud and mud blocks? Uh, I think it would be funny if we had a mud bath spa, and it was just a, a kind of a tub filled with the mud blocks. I think that'd be funny. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it'd be a little weird. We're going to have um, forestry, binnies, and uh, and career bees. I think that's going to give us a pretty wide selection of trees and decorative woods to 
to uh, work off of. So I'm thinking uh, we could do a lot of decoration where we maybe use a little bit of, of copper block trim with some chisels and bits just kind of here and there. Segments of copper block plates on the walls or whatever to make it look kind of flashy, kind of fancy and metallic. Uh, spring water jacuzzis. That could actually be a thing if we can bucket that stuff. I can't remember. No, what is it? Spring? Yeah, hot spring water bucket. Okay. Whoop, nope. Yeah. I think you can fill it up. Glub, glub. Yeah, I've got... Oh, wait a minute. Regeneration. Yep, yep, yep. I think it'll be nice. Oh, hey, that, that spire is gone now. Thank you. Trying to it think opens we... things up. So I... Uh, yeah, I tell you what we could do. If we level this out, if we leveled this out some, so, like, you could walk across, you know, all of this space or whatever. This is all the same height. Whoops. Get rid of that. We can trim that back some, whatever. But And this was all the same height, so you could walk over here. And there could be like some railing right along here. So you could stand here and look down into maybe the waterfall that's going down into the garden or something like that. Like you were on top of the waterfall. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. Whoop, I heard a project I heard a project E tool. Um we can use uh, some nicer cobblestone chisel cobblestone patterns or we could do some combinations of like marble and maybe limestone or marble and basalt we could actually automate basalt with a igneous extruder so yeah we could look out here down at the actual gardens area and the uh, 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 trees that'd be nice yeah, I've got ideas, all sorts of ideas. It's going to be a kind of a, a more rugged kind of um, lots of wood interior. Not all wood, but there's going to be lots of wood accent in the interior that I'm picturing because it's inset in the mountains. So I'm thinking more kind of natural designs and natural accents. We're going to use some marble uh, for the outside, probably some maybe stone or uh, something akin to stone. Same kind of feel. Inside, we could actually maybe use some like diorite or maybe some granite. Give it a little bit more of a polished feel on the inside and um, do that. Uh, then we've got a couple of other locations where we're going to be building bases long term because there's, of course, Galacticraft and the whole space race aspect of things. And uh, I've got ideas there too. So there might actually be other branches of our casino chain that open up in other locations. Um, Coop Street's going to be busy. Um, boop, uh, boop, boop, boop. Just do this. Have some railing around it. Put glass in the railing so people can still see out if they're a little shorter. Received space race invite. I crashed. Oh. Oh yeah. Don't mess with the space race stuff. <laughs> uh, apparently, it's it's crash worthy in Galacticraft. Um, I am tempted to turn it off until they fix it. Uh, they are working on it though, thankfully. Yeah, so we have a nice big squared off terrace down here. We could have stairs going down. We flatten this out a little bit more and kind of push it back to the left. So you're coming down the stairs, and then we could level this out like right at this level we could have some water features on the left side and the right side um, have some garden space going down the middle that you could walk through and we could have uh, some stairs going up with some trees and then on the other side of the tree of the grove would be um, the entrance to the penthouse areas which would be in that tower right there I think it'll look real nice I really do we just have to come up with a design scheme that will pop and kind of 
come off the uh, mountains and be visible. Uh-oh, Trunks is messing with biome essence. What biome are you looking for, Trunks? To touch on stone creation for a second, I have an idea for the marble recipe for wasted chisel limestone in the TE compressor to make marble. Uh, we don't have limestone being generated. Um, that's, <laughs> that's not a thing. We have to have a recipe for limestone, then for marble. Honestly, I would probably just rather do bulk craftables. Like, um, uh, we could do mm, bone meal in the top center square and all the rest be smooth stone and you'd get like 32 marble or you put bone meal in the bottom center square with the rest being smooth stone and you get 32 limestone because they're decorative blocks. They do not serve any purpose. Otherwise, I'm okay with giving good, nice big stacks. Um, so yeah. Uh, we, we're not generating limestone, or at least if we are, we're not supposed to be. And uh, it should have been turned off. Okay. Um, do -do -do. He I'm not said gonna... Cherry Blossom Grove. Yeah, he's looking for a Cherry Blossom Grove that's not right next to spawn. Okay, we could do some pretty good water space down here. If we got some coral, we could bump this out. I mean, push this back more that direction. And we could actually do some coral and growing, I mean, glowing coral in the uh, underwater section. People walk across that little glass bridge or something. That'd be nice. Um, Just need the ID. You got the command. Uh, it's uh, uh, <laughs> ID 50. That's the cherry blossom one. Tell him that. The one of BOP wiki gives me chaparral instead. Yeah. Some of those got shuffled around. So if we do this, trim this back some. The thermal foundation hammers break the um, overgrown stone. Overgrown stone. What? Where? This grass. It's called overgrown stone. Uh, it is stone. I mean, that's weird. I didn't even know this is a thing, but it does. It does say pickaxe level stone, and it's got stone in the name. Uh, um. That's strange. I never even noticed that was a block. Uh, shows how much I'm paying attention. Yeah, see? We could flatten this all the way out across, and then we could kind of have a little bit of a lip overhang that wrapped under, um, that came out to probably about, like, here. And that could connect with some of the higher floors of the uh, casino, the main building of the casino. Uh, yeah. I'm making it daytime again so people can see what's going on so yeah around us we're gonna have this is a moors biome it's raised up on cliffs uh, we do have a lot of space out here we could use for like tree farms and stuff but I'd rather keep it kind of clear if the front of the casino is gonna be out here there's a swamp that way this is a, I gotta remember, a fen, which is going to be, um, lots of dark oak, right. So we will have a source of some dark oak, that'll be good. Of course, none of these, yeah, dark oak leaves, dark oak, yeah, it's a weird source of it, because they only, they can't grow that way naturally, you have to do them two by two, but whatever. Um... If you go back over this way, bah, 
Hitch, hitch, hitch. We've got this nice little mountain ridge section that comes out through here. Somebody could turn that into a little base if they wanted to. We got all this back here, and I thought this could be really cool on the back side of this ridge. Basically, the, the casino would be through there. And right over here, we could have a doorway that opened up that only connected with some kind of the back areas of the uh, of the business. And over here, we could do our launch pads right from this section of the actual mountains. Um, we would basically be just on the other side, the south side of the mountain range. Uh, I think you're right above me. Above? About, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You just come straight down. There you go. Um, so yeah, if we wanted to, we could kind of put a flat layer or some multiple tiers of layers in here. Um, and we could use this as kind of factory floor and, you know, we could do helicopter pads and we could do some of the missile launch pads or the rocket launch pads from Galacticraft out here because it's nice open sky. We wouldn't have to worry about obstructions, lots of flat space that we could make. What? What? What's wrong? That is some weird natural generation. Yes, it's very pointy. Um, we have another floating rock thing over here. Um, yeah, that's a swamp over there. We're gonna have lots of willow trees. And I um, think that's probably gonna mean we'll have natural access to slimes. Because a lot of these are probably going to be end up end up being slime chunks over on this side, which isn't the worst thing. Oh, by the way, here's another little back entrance we could do if we wanted to. Um, I don't know if we're going to go that far into the actual mountain range, but whatever. Oh my god, I completely forgot about slime wings. Perfect for bees. Oh, what the swamp is? Yeah, they they're kept at that perfect temperature and. Oh, okay. Well, the perfect temperature and requirements for a lot of the... If you uh, want to settle in a swamp next door to a casino run by chickens, come on over. <laughs> uh, this is wetland right here, which is going to be another kind of trees. Not too far away is a cherry blossom grove. So we have a, a wide variety of trees that we'll have access to. Just flying around the mountain range. I'm about to round the corner back to where the actual structure will be. Yeah, it would be right here. They tend to be... <laughs> now, the flat open area. Oh, they tend to be really wet. Well, you know, the flat open area is the moors. I mean, if you want to have a flat open area, sure. This big chunk of space right here, there's a cavern. All sorts of stuff. I suggest think? for a lot of these elevators to use the RF tools ones, because it's a lot of the, like look over areas we're not going to be using it a lot but i'm still worried about the fps issue we had in wasted um i'm uh, I don't, i'm wondering if that is a problem of us having a multi-block elevator platform like if it's just one square one person elevators you know will it be better if we do an elevator bank i don't know though we need to test it and see um this is a bog, which is going to be lots of mud and uh, dead grass. Let me get up over the mountain range and I can show you what we're where we're going to have the uh, launch platform, um, Night Pirate. So if this is going to be the front door right here where I'm looking, and then we're going to have the kind of the resort areas up here on the top in the mountain is going to be the actual base. The resort will have to get built over time. We're going to have to kind of work into that and get it going. Uh, but we'll dig into the actual base of the mountain first and make a rain and make a base there. I figured it'll primarily be behind where the front door is going to end up for the casino. And then in this ridge line right here. And then back there in that basin, we can do way down deep into the basin where the bottom of it is. We do some flattening. And we make ourselves some platforms, maybe some that are slightly more elevated than others, and we can do some stairs. That way we have rockets that we can launch, space for rockets we can launch, but they're protected from almost all sides. It'd only be an opening right here that we'd have to worry about. Uh, so nobody really know what we were doing. It'd be kind of secretive. 
Yeah, there's a witch hut for a witch farm over in that uh, swamp next to the bog. Yeah. So that's not a bad thing. We could set up a witch farm if we wanted to try. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of possibilities. Time for RF Tools Builder then. Saffron's not auto-hosting you for five years. Thank you very much, Saffron. I wonder if he's going to raid in a minute too. Oh gosh. Um. Uh, so what do you think of Box? It works. Do you think I have a crazy idea? No. Um. You know, a hammer works better for that, right? Yeah, but you know me. There's building wands. You could do that much quicker, yes, but I, you know, I'm, I'm still a sucker for doing things a block at a time. It's the old school in me. Okay, um, man, that would probably get cut way back, but whatever. This oh, yeah, all... it'll, yeah, it'll be later cut back and... Now, see, if we wanted to, you see this little alcove right here? It had water back there, I could... Oh, back. did it? No, no, no. I was actually thinking we could put like a little two or three story little building structure where we could put a whole bunch of vending machines. You know, we have that mod called Good Old Currency. We can make like yeah. ATM machines and vending machines and stuff like that. I'm still figuring out how to set the currency levels in it. I don't really know how that works, but basically we'll be able to set up a set of vending machines that we can have a dollar assigned because it actually has currency in it. So, you know, you can get something for a buck or five bucks or a hundred bucks or whatever. We could do some vending machines and encourage, like, some of our local um, uh, uh, people on the server, if they wanted to, they could come put some of their vending machines in here and fill it with their stuff. It's kind of a central place, you know, like we're wanting to bring some outside people who are selling stuff. Um, it's just a passing to option number two. We make it a bar and a nightclub. <laughs> I do want to have some vending machines. Uh, dotted around the base from other people, though. I think that'd be cool. Trunk says, um, shakes his cane. Back in my day, we didn't have any of these fancy pants multi-block breaking tools. Yeah, you're not far off there, buddy. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff we could put right there. Uh, I mean, we could put a little two-story building with lots of glass facing out towards the uh, patio area up here and just have it kind of be a cafe and seating area for food. Uh, nothing functional. We could have that be the elevator space coming up from the tunnels down below from, from the casino. Maybe we don't cross-connect the casino up here. Maybe instead, we have some underground tunnels and we put a, an underground... You know, casinos have this thing where there's no windows or outside lighting in the casinos. It's all blocked off. Oh, yeah. It's all, it's all the same light level all the time. Maybe we could do that with the actual gambling floor where we have the, you know, the casino tables set up. It's down in the mountain uh, I somewhere. I feel a lot of uh, chiseling bits in my future. Uh, I think you're going to have to do a lot of the CMB decorations. I don't have the patience to sit there and tweak with it. Plus, you're better sit about the Sit there and stare at, like, one out of a 16 by 16 by 16 block. <laughs> yeah. You know, I need... Well, I need 32, to... isn't it? Uh, I can't remember. I think it's... Yes, 32 yeah. bits. So, yeah, I figure we could have the a bank of elevators that comes up here from down below and have a nice little kind of like a glassed in lounge area maybe there's some stairs over here that go up to a second floor like trunk says we could put a star clux on the second floor well we could put something small here like the vending machine idea but see this right here see this like natural tower ish i was thinking maybe a sauna uh pay for masseuse tables something like that you want to put it in here like in in or do you want to replace not it? so much in it's just like the mountain is giving me ideas <laughs> i mean we could here's the thing right if we were careful we could do some swapping and actually sh replace the shape of this tower with the building but it's the same shape to give it that kind of natural, kind of broken, kind of a, you know, whatever. And we could use that as a reoccurring theme in the casino on some of the structures to make it look like it's kind of a man-made, quote-unquote, natural formation. Like over here where the... What are these penthouses? 
Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The penthouses, the high roller rooms are going to be over here. I wow, want to um, And I mean, if you this? look at this thing right here, this natural formation we have coming straight up, I could see replacing that with some like white marble with some kind of trim accent of something flashy, maybe copper. And then we could do an entrance at the bottom. This could be the main elevator shaft. And we have the rooms coming off the left and the right of it sticking out of the mountainside, right? Oh yeah, I was. I walked over, I flew over here and I'm, I looked at that and I'm like, and that's instantly the elevator shaft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see that right now. I think it works. We do a little bit of trimming and shaping, but for the most part, we keep it natural, but we replace it with the decorative blocks we want to use. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, I could, I do see, I think it'd be cool. Uh, uh-oh. Everyone hide. Um, <laughs> Dark Preacher's on the server. Uh, I do think we could do a thing where... Uh... Yeah, we have the outdoor pool with the pool bar over here. We could do the little vending machine space and maybe a seating area above it. Um, we could do this building right here next to it. You were talking about how to kind of make the spa. We could do the mud baths and set, in the and set into the floor. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're going to have stairs coming down here. And I mean, if we wanted to... We could have something built into the wall right here. Uh, if we want to be creative, uh, who remembers my Resident Rise series way back in the day? Oh, I don't think I've watched it. Okay. I did this series. It unfortunately ran for a shorter time than I wanted it to, but it was still fun. Um, it was actually when I... That was the series I was doing when I first figured out how to live stream. And I started live streaming to YouTube of all places. Everybody was like, you can live stream to YouTube at the time. It was a mystery. Um... Uh, Ferg says, I do. Trunks says, I do. I visited that base. Yeah, that's where I met Trunks is on Resident Rise. Um, oh, Trunks says he found his cherry blossom grove. Cool. Make sure and denote the coordinates and put it in that thread um, on. Put it there. Uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, I had this base, right? That's where Baron Von Dreadbad came out or Baron Dreadbad. That's where that whole goofy persona came out and I was supposed to be this incompetent supervillain and I had the volcano layer that had a a uh, marble skull flowing lava on the front of it and I thought that was pretty cool I really to this day it's one of my absolute favorite bases I ever did because it extended down the base of the actual volcano across the ocean floor and it was really cool um uh so what I figured was um, I had in that base a basement area that was supposed to be kind of like a shopping mall space. It was supposed to be for people that wanted to set up shops on the server. I just made the retail space and invited people to come set up shop there. We could do the same thing if we wanted to, Fox. Like, uh, we could have a second floor space above the kind of this, the uh, vending machines. We could make the second floor space one retail space, right? We could make this one down here. We could just bump a little door in, put a nice space around this with some no, no, glass. No. We could do a second one here. Yes, we could do instead an elevator shaft in this. And then we can turn the majority of this wall oh, into a around single the elevator into a single building. Okay, yeah, I think you're, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Um... Uh, let's see. Over near the high roller rooms, we're gonna have some premium space, like, over here. We're gonna have a walkway. The tree, this is probably all gonna be about this level. And we could do a walkway over here that had some space into this wall near the high roller suites. Um, we could do something, like, where we could do an entrance behind the waterfall, like, over here somewhere in the, the gardens area. Like, you could walk behind the waterfall and there'd be a shop back here somewhere. There's a lot of possibilities we could do with this, and I think it'd be really cool. Cold storage for Heart of Dragons. That's going to be in the basement, way down near Bedrock. Um, Paul, oh, yeah, uh, Pirate Tech says, rerun it, please. I will, actually. Starting next week, I'm going to start running during the days some older episodes of some of the stuff that I've done before, like my Resident Rise series, um, Bagram's Chance Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. Um, all sorts of stuff. I'm going to start crop. I'm going to start doing a lot of that. Um, that's almost as bad as one of my evil genius videos is Ferg. 
Uh, you should load it up on Twitch and run it as rerun so we can all watch the craziness of Baron Dreadbad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely will do that. Oh, Dark Preacher. Neat. Found in Mushroom Biome. Uh, Miss Bob said cheers for 30 bits. Thank you very much, honey. I appreciate it. Um, uh, so, yeah, I think me and Fox are getting ideas. Um, yeah. And we're going to have tons of space below this. Because, I mean, okay. If we go down here. All the way down to where it's going to be the base. The bottom, the ground floor of the front casino building. Um... Control click to view on map. It's okay. It's a blank thing because I've never been there before. Uh, um, I'll just save that. Uh, if we stand right here, I'm at Y level 95. So we have tons of space below the mountain, even starting at this level and down. If we use that for our base area. And then all the stuff above that line we use for the casino and the business side of things. We're still going to have stupid amounts of space to deal with. So, I, yeah, I think we're good. I think this is going to be a good location for us. Instead of putting the sign up there on that floating island, we could put it here. Who? What? Where? I'm looking for you. Oh, I figure we're going to have a couple, right? I figure we're going to have a symbol. Like some kind of a cool way that we could do some kind of a symbol for like a copper block or a copper ingot, you know, or maybe an ore block of co uh, that we could do it. Um, I don't know. Uh, copper Mountains Casino. I have three ideas for three different places that I was gonna that we're gonna do, and we're going to progress through them. This is going to be half, and this is just me. This is the way I work. We're going to have half, oh, we need to do chickens or bees or whatever. We need to run base power. The other half of it is going to be us setting up these business locations and building out some of these business locations. So you're getting a peek at one aspect of what I want to do long term with the series. Um, I really want to throw my, since we've got so much overworld to work with, we're not as restricted as we were in Wasted. I really want to do a lot of this building uh, because I, I, this is just what I, this is what I, you know, a Jones for. Uh, Pirate Texas Squid Pool? Gross. It'll probably be a problem, but gross. Your sign should be a CNB mountain made of a copper block. That's a good idea, Trunks. If we could do that. Even if it's just one bit layer thick and we just did the shape, I think that would be very cool. Bees area. Uh, unfortunately, bees require uh, exposure to sky. Um, and what we might have to do is either in this back area, the back range where we're going to put the rockets, we might have to do some of the bees there. Option number two, we're going to have Mr. Trunks. We might have to wheel and deal for some bees so we don't have to do as much of it. We can make use of it a little bit more and do some starters to kind of show the viewers how it's done, but we won't have to do as much of it. But if we did, we're probably going to have to put it all back there in the back range. Um, and then the front area up here would be, you know, all casino stuff. But I think this is, I think this could work. And I already have ideas for the... For the sign? Logo. Cool. That's awesome. One of Foxbot Gaming's many, many gifts is his talent with uh, Chisels and Bits, which is why I kind of feel like I'm cheating by having him on the team. Um, the tech mods that I don't know, either he or Eridani knows... So they compensate for areas that I don't have skill in anymore because I'm getting older and things don't stick as well or whatever. Um, uh, so I'm very quickly getting spoiled by having other people on the, uh, you know, having a team instead of just me. It makes it a lot easier. I highly encourage you to get minions or interns if you can afford to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Birdcraft says, get on it, Fox butt. Um, Berg also says, I'm just incompetent talking about him um casino las clux no i've got we're actually not gonna have chicken themed casinos the stuff in it might be chicken themed like um like star clucks and things like that um we are going to have coop street casinos this is going to be the copper mountains 
uh, casino and resort, or resort and casino. I guess it's going to be resort and casino. Um, and then I've got another one that is going to be water themed, water slash map exploration themed. And uh, I've got another one that's going to be space themed. Yes. Incidentally, Trunks Corp Industries are now recruiting intern positions. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. No El Pollo Grande. No, cuts. We're actually going to have an El Pollo Grande in the food court. That's going to be the Tex Mex. A milk bar? What's a milk bar? I, that's just a room with cows in it, right? When I think milk bar, I think um, Clockwork Orange. And if you're young or faint of heart, don't go watch that movie. Yeah, Gabbro is amazing. Gabbro Pops, Foxbot, and a couple other folks are really good with chisels and bits. So, yeah. The milk bar. It's a weird idea. We could do it. Oh, there's a milk bar here in Denver, and it is not as nice as you'd think it is. I don't know what I would... I mean... You go there for what, milk with stuff in it, or what? It's not that kind of milk bar. Oh. Is it a adult entertainment facility? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Um, That's why the name kind of makes me wonder. Uh, these kids nowadays can't handle a little of the ultra violence. Exactly. Uh, a little bit of Ludwig Van. Okay. Let me think. Um, yeah, I can see a pool area stretching out over here. We could do a building nestled into that corner. We could inset or retrofit that into a structure. Um, if we wanted to get a little creative, we could put like right here. We get some gray or dark gray stained glass and let me see if I can find it. There we go. She could come through here, have a little gray glass wall, maybe inset. And just have a little kind of an observation area where you can see out over the front moors sticking out of that, you know. I think that'd be cool. We could maybe lower this one level. Whoops. Um, if you have seen A Clockwork Orange and thought it was kind of mind-bending, try reading the book. I read the book, yeah. And then we could do... I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. And then we do stained... Gray stained glass. So, I mean, you can obviously see through it. It's not supposed to hide or anything like that. Do something like that. Whoop. Box is working. Do not disturb. Okay. So you can walk out here. Have a little bit taller so it's less claustrophobic for some of our taller players. Um, there was a point when we were playing Coop Life for the first time that Mez, the author of Forestry, was the only, um, or maintainer of Forestry, was the only person that wasn't morphed. So he was the only normal height person. So he couldn't he couldn't fit in parts of my base. It was funny. Do this. Same. You can see down onto the moors. Uh, we could do a little bit of kind of sprucing up and put some nice trees out there if we wanted to make it look prettier. And yeah, Milk Bar in Melbourne, suburb of Fitzroy, Northern Australia. 
Um, a milk bar is a suburb, local, general store, or cafe. Similar terms include tuck shops, delicatessens, or delis. Oh. Yeah, that's not the milk bar we're talking about. There is a thing called a milk bar in the movie The Clockwork Orange, which is literally a bar that basically delivers everything via milk. Like, you know, you get various, you can get milk with different grades of alcohol mixed into it and stuff like this. Hey, Tig, what's going on? So, yeah, I figured we have the building here. I'm just kind of planning. Don't mind me. Vagrim isn't a chicken anymore. I can fix that, actually. No, I um, think you... I... Oh, you're wearing iron armor. I was so confused. Yeah. I can't figure out the type. There we go. Morph! There we go. Hello, Beehive. I promise I'll try not to mess with you. Oh, Beehive. Um, okay. Yep. So we bring this out to probably about... There-ish? Nope, that's too far. There-ish. That would inset back into the actual mountain and have some of the dirt kind of stacked on top of it. Um, dirt and stone. So that's going to be the front of it that's going to push right into the back of the mountain there. Or the uh, edge of the mountain. Yes, I've seen clockwork, yeah. But for some reason, Milk Bar reminds me of the few Aussie times I've heard it, like Yahtzee. Oh. Over at the Escapist, yeah. <clears throat> you don't have the flat colored blocks in this, do you? <clears throat> um, we might not. If we don't, that was an accident. It should have been added. Um, we can still slip that in, specifically because it does not add any world gen or any world changing stuff. Because in order for me to do this, <laughs> I will need the gradients. A lot of this chisel stuff will need the gradients color oh, okay. from flat colored blocks. Okay, we can fix that. That's cool. That's easy. You're doing it wrong, Ferg. There we go. Thank you, Ferg. I appreciate it. Okay. So we're going to have a sign there that'll be a logo. Up here, I actually want wording. It can even if it just says Copper Mountain, and we can abbreviate it MNT. I got it in the end. He says, "Build a big chicken nest on top of the mountain." No, uh, it's going to be run by chickens. It's not going to be a chicken. I will probably have some chicken-sized stuff though. A lot of the utility corridors and the actual functional base space is probably going to be two blocks or less in height, because you can condense a lot of stuff into a tight space that way. So yeah, this music is super weird. Um, go to something else. A little bit better? I don't know. Um, are you going to plate the mountain exterior with copper? No, I am not. No, I don't think we could. Nope, nope, nope. Well, actually, we could. We've got Project E, where there's a will, there's a way. That would be a long-term project. Chicken pathway for the power and network cables. Yeah, there's going to be. We do one block tall on that with one block of space alongside of it. So we'll have power and utility corridors that we can run through to track stuff. I want to have a better organized power grid this time around. We're going to pre-plan the rooms and pre-plan where we're going to run cables so it's going to be easier to track what's going where and we can replace it easier. That's the kind of job you hire out. 
Cut says, I hope it's going to be all Swedish style then. What do you mean Swedish style? You might have to explain that to me, Cuts. I'm floating in the air. Let's come down here. So I'm trying to decide on what kind of base I'm going to do. Um, there's some good bay areas that I've found that are near island chains. Now, I'm not going to sh share coordinates with you because that's where base number two is going. Haha. <laughs> um... But yeah. Um. Oh yeah, the Great Copper Mountains. <laughs> I I still don't know what that spotting history. It's the Sweden Copper Mountains. Oh. Uh, I know there's copper in this mountain range. And, uh, but the, I mean, there's also appetite and coal in it. So, eh, but, uh, appetite, appetite mountains does not sound as interesting as it is coal mountains. Um, I would not want to go to the coal mountain casino and resort. That would sound dirty and gross. Berg says, I miss liquid dirt so much. Um, I, I could check with the author and see if we can get it ported, get permission to do a port. So you say copper mountain. I think copper mountain up in Michigan, upper peninsula. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing, so there's probably several copper mountains in the world. I would expect. Yes. I just I just picked it as a clever naming scheme, so. Um Okay. Um I'm trying to see. We're going to have a lot of space that we can make use of. We're going to be able to spread out a lot, which is one thing I'm going to be happy about. And chicken poop power gen. Yeah, we are going to be doing that for sure. We're going to be harnessing the power of chicken poop and powering big segments of the base off of it. Heck, if um, Mallrat has anything to do about it, we'll be firing rockets based off of it. Boom, Flex! <laughs> How are you, Boomplex? I mean, seriously, can't we power rockets off of it? Isn't that a thing we were planning to do? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I just don't think he has the recipe written up yet. Yeah, eh, that's fine. It'll get there. I could help him with it, but, um... Yeah. Um, I don't know where he's at at the moment. Yeah, we, well, he's on vacation, thankfully, so we can bug him more. Um, yeah. How you doing, Boomplex? How's your day been? How the hell are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing so good. We're doing base planning for the uh, series for Coop Life 2. Basically, this is the test server. It's going to get reset when the series starts. Um, and uh, so I'm trying to scope out. We know what world seed we're going to use. I'm trying to scope out where. Uh, I'm running a group of mafia chickens that's going to be starting a casino and, and uh, resort. I'm going to try and squeeze as much money out of the server denizens as we can. Um, hey, can you point out to me where this casino is going to be right here? I can't visualize it at the moment. Can or can't? Can't. Well, I figure we've got two options. We go vertical, in which case, um, we go way down here. Oh, God, auto jump, go away, you horrid thing, says Dark Preacher. Um, if we go a bit more vertical with the building, then we put it right here. And it's literally going to burrow into the side of this mountain. Like, it will probably be at least... Let's see. Let's well, get some you said that you wanted the top of it to be close to, close to up here. Um, I was thinking about making it taller. But now that I think about it, if we actually made the roof line a little bit lower. So it doesn't block the view. We could have the roof like... Here-ish, maybe? And then what we do is we have tunnel that goes in at the ground floor, and we just curve it back, and we could do a bank of elevators that come up right here. Right? Yeah. So basically, it's going to be a square. Square, I say. A rectangle kind of a thing. A cuboid shape. That's going to come all the way over here. Bloop. Right there. 
And it's going to come in all the way. I'm pretty sure you have a spot on the white list. Yep. Yesterday's a little blurry. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, Boomplex. Um, Mr. Boomplex, for those who don't know, is a wonderful, wonderful person that I met at Mine Fair Houston. Him and Pot Ducky were a great pair of folks, and we got to tour them around Houston, jam them full of barbecue. Uh, it was great. Uh, um, so, yeah. Um, maybe a little bit farther. But, I mean, at least that. It's going to be a cube like this, right? Does that help? Yeah. So, if we do that, that means we'll have this big building that will come into the mountainside. Considerably. And, uh, clear all of this out so we can kind of get a shot of where the building will come in. Um, so we will have this big front building. It's not going to exist initially. We're going to have to build it. We're going to have to get the materials wow, that was to build it. Lucky. <laughs> what? I eyeballed the distance from the top to the bottom, and I made it perfectly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, that's going to cut into the building right there, which means all of this to the left of this line is going to disappear. So, basically, everything from this block where I'm standing forward into the, into the building. This is all going to disappear. It's all going to be building. So it's going to look like it's going to kind of just directly connect with or maybe even merge into the uh, um, the mountain line. And I want to leave this stuff over here on the outside line. I want to leave it so it actually kind of obstructs part of the building and makes it look like it's going into the mountain. Because I think that's going to be really cool. I want to do the same thing over there. Then what we do is we could have a nice flat space over here if we wanted to. We could extend up the roof line a little bit with some railings, and we could put like, put like a mock-up helipad on the roof or something crazy like that. Um, Inferred. <laughs> what? Inferred I'm calling hacks on box. Um, are you going to play as a cat slash ocelot again? Yeah. It was hilarious. We could call Ferg around and have him scare off the local creepers. Really useful. Um, he should hire himself out for that service. His skin is in the. Yeah, it's in the it's in the skin set. I checked. It's in the skin set. <laughs> we'll probably stream it when it goes live. Is it okay to stream? Oh heck yes! Anybody and everybody, if you want to stream from the server? Please, dear God, stream from it. Yes. Um. Okay for helping, says Ferg. Yeah, useful for once. Yeah, seriously, though, his ocelot skin still counted as a normal ocelot, since that's what he was. So if he came around, he could keep creepers at bay. You just go hang out with him when you're mining, and he'll just make it a lot easier. It's great. Pretty sure there are a few of us planning on streaming from the server boom, so you'll be in good company. Yeah, it's all good, man. More than open. Yeah. So I figure we have a roof line. If we, like I said, if we wanted to, we could have the kind of the joke helipad. And then have a walkway over to here. We could also have the elevators over here. This bank of elevators with the little vending machine area. Like right in this nook. Um, let's do that. Where the glowstone is. And then you come out of there. Actually, the elevators would be back here. But whatever. You get the point. Um, we could have a little stair that goes up on the side. We could have a little seating area. Or like a star clux on the second floor. Or just leave that as empty retail space that anybody else could set up if they wanted to. We could do um, like this this retail space over here. Boomplex is hosting. Thank you very much, Boomplex. Um, yeah, I, I think we've got ideas, right? Yes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do. I'm still wearing that elytra, aren't I? Yep. I didn't it, realize. It looks very <laughs> fetching. So from about here to here, day, you, we're going to make this a pool. We can put a pool bar in. And we'll do some kind of glass inset railing around the side so you can still look under the railing. It's not a solid wall. No, 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 no. What? Glass pool edge. Oh, we can do that, so yeah. you can swim up over the glass. You can look down. 
Oh, you want to do an overhang and have the waterfall underneath it? We could do that. We get some palm trees. We do some wheeling and dealing for somebody that's got palm trees. We're going to have the forestry mail system in here. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be able to use stamps and do catalog trading by mail if we want to. So if we know somebody that's in a biome environment and they have trees, like palm trees that we want to decorate the base, we could trade with them. Um, we're going to be doing chicken-based commodities primarily, probably some other stuff on the side, maybe some tech. Yeah, the wife says, Infinity Pool! I think you got a good idea approved there, uh, Foxbot. But I figured we could have the waterfall coming down here into a kind of a pool area, like a water area, and then we could have some kind of floating kind of garden platforms in the water down here with some walkways between them. So we're going to be leveling all of this off at this? Uh, this is going to be the ground floor level where people are going to be walking across. It's not all going to be because I figure we can have some underwater areas. Like if we're feeling sp particularly saucy, okay? Let's see. Right along this line is the main building. And we're going to have a hallway coming through at least part of the mountain under that pool area to go to the elevators, right? Well, what if we did the casino area underground and some of this was actually glassed in so you could walk under it and look up into the actual pool? Because then if we wanted to, we replace some of this with like gravel and some of this gravel and stuff with sand and dirt. And we could go get some of the coral and glowing coral from some part of the ocean uh, from a Biomes of Plenty coral, sea, uh, coral forest. And we get some coral and some kelp and relocate all that stuff over here and replant it. And uh, we could turn this into a really cool underwater, uh, kind of an uh, uh, aquarium thing where you could walk under it and look up or walk beside it and look through some, some glass segments on the wall. I think it'd be really cool. So yeah, there's a lot of possibility. We got tons of space to work with. <laughs> Trunks asks, can you mail Fox around to do chisels and bit stuff? I think that's called a teleporter. I'm not trying to stuff that guy into an envelope. I don't think he'll fit. Uh, Berg says, you know, I've never made an underwater base. I don't have the patience for water removal. It's really simple. You make a shape and then you basically swim into the shape and fill it with sand. And then when you're going back through that shape to remove the, wa the, the sand that cleared the water, you basically just break the bottom block and stick a torch under it real quick. The whole pile will drop down and just kind of turn into items, not blocks. Slash uh, slash replace. <laughs> yeah. Option number two is you use the builder, and I think it's got an option to evacuate water. I yes. think. Yeah. And we have some underwater base modules that you can use from prefab that will clear the water out when you put them underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a hammer from Woot. W-O-O-T. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Named the intern. <laughs> really? Yep. Ya hammer. Yet another hammer from Woot. The intern builds the factory for you. Tier one. Oh. Oh, this is the tool to actually make the, the uh, mob spawning factories, right? Yes. That's funny. Um, Okay. Oh, that's the other thing that's going to be really nice. If somebody wants to, they could set up a massive power gen and woot factory within their base and just trade off for other commodities with other players if they wanted to. Just trade ender pearls and bone and stuff like that with other players. Yeah, see, Kugas confirms. Yes, the, the RF Tools builder works great for underwater stuff. And, uh, and like I said, we have a prefab building... Uh, uh, a blueprint that you can make that will place down an underwater building structure for you. It's this nice big open area thing, and it it's works called underwater. The aqua base. Yeah, it's called the aqua base, and it clears the water for you when you place it. Works really nice. Doesn't what? Doesn't what? Magic temple. Yeah, the magic temple is an enchanting room, I believe. It's very nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little floating kind of a wood structure. They have the watchtower and then the machinery tower. Uh-huh. Watchtower is okay. a tall, tall, narrow thing. Uh, I tell you what, Fox. Let's go. Do you have the location of the farm, the spawn farm? No, this is a new instance. Okay, hang on a sec. Uh, I'm going to teleport to 
Um, spawn. Blah, come on, fly. There we go. Okay, teleport to where I am, real quick. Teleport to me. There he is. Whoop. We're actually gonna go south a little bit. I'm I'm waiting for my frame rate to steady out just a bit. Oh god. It's working. Whoa, whoa FPS died. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what's causing it, to be brutally honest. I'm going to stand here for just a second and wait for it to catch up. It's loading something. But we're going uh, south. Just straight south across the water. I think I'm above you. Yep. Berg says, I loved your Forgecraft underwater base. That base was kind of messy, but I did like it. I liked the bubbles. I retrofitted a whole bunch of the, um, oh gosh, what are the things called from uh, ra a Railcraft? The big ge geodes. Yeah, I retrofitted geodes and turned them into base buildings and then cross-connected them with tunnels. I cheated, basically. Um, I remember that. Ooh, what's this over here? Um, this was People's somebody's... bases? This is somebody's test base, yeah. Um... But, oh no, these are not bases. These are prefab buildings. This is the bunker, the defense bunker, right? And then, let's see. Uh, oh, there's a vanilla Oh, someone building. was playing with prefab. That's what. Yeah, I was demonstrating prefab, prefab on stream. This is me. Uh, here's the welcome center. We're going to have one of these at spawn. Uh, it's great because it's got a wall preset to automatically put your server rules on it. Very, very nice. Um, it's got, like, four, it's got bedrooms... And uh, cake. Kitchen, kitchen space, what? There's cake on the table. Uh-huh, there is. See, this is basically a central kind of a crafting room, storage. There's beds with personal storage back there. More beds in here with personal storage. It's really nice. I really do love this. So this is going to be at spawn, and it's going to be the safety space starting off. Those paper tools look cool. Yes. Paper uh, lanterns. Correct. It is custom added to the mod, and it's really nice. Um, let's see. We're going to have a nether portal at spawn. Uh, in case people don't want to have one of their own, they can go back to, to spawn. And so, uh, let me do flint and steel. Oh, and I walked up to him. I'm like, where's the little thing? Nope. It's a full thing. Yeah. So, I mean, technically you can. I'm actually in creative. So if I walk through that, you instantly teleport, which I think is weird, but whatever. Um... So we're going to have one of these near spawn somewhere, probably offset a little ways. Um, let's see. It's got a little fishing pole, like fishing pond. I want to get one of these and set it up um, on the moors level Slime. around the mountains. Yeah. It's really nice. That is the jungle tree house. I expect somebody's going to use that in a jungle setting. <clears throat> That's not cake. The cake is a lie. Cake is in my freezer, says Miss Moab. This is the machinery tower, and it's got a little preset uh, minecart route to go from the top floor to the bottom floor. It's really cool. Well, I, I've seen this before. Yeah. And like the exact same design layout too. Mm-hmm. Um, it it's very nice for large machiner machinery and stuff. Yeah, it's it's really cool. There is the Hobbit house right over here. Um, I I missed that. I didn't see this. Yeah, it's <laughs> this is a medium house. There's medium houses and then starter houses. Um, the gardens. This oh, is this is a tree farm. Yeah, this is a tree farm, specifically tree farm space, and I think this is very cool. We're probably gonna have one of these next to the uh, spawn building, also next to uh, eh. next to um, 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 uh, the welcome center. And I don't know if we're gonna do one of these or not. I think this would be a little overkill for spawn. Uh, but uh, I could see people setting these up and setting up automated farms with these. This is the gardens, basically. And it's even got space uh, for chickens. I mean, for uh, mushrooms. So you can grow mushrooms, mushrooms down here. Mushrooms down there, and then you've got there your cactus yeah. and... There is water underneath this wall block all the way across, as well, just like there's water here. So you can put double wide uh, sugar cane here. You put your nether wort over here, and you put cacti right here really nice. Boomblex says, did you opt for vanilla fix or against? 
I'm not using any fix mods right now because we don't have frame rate problems. Right now we have some frame rate problems on the server because we were doing some large scale testing to the point of absurdity within small spaces to see what it would do. It, it affects your performance, go, go figure. But uh, it would not be, it's also the fact that this was a test server that originally had advanced rocketry on it and we pulled it to replace it with Galacticraft and it hasn't been reset yet. So it's still got some weird stuff. So right now, if people want FPS fixes or performance fixes, it is upon them to put it in themselves. I have not done such things. Um, I like your... How did you get the map to do that? I have, mine's is always the default. Map is... What? What are you talking about? Your map is in the lower right-hand corner. Yeah. If you bring up whatever hotkey, it's defaulted to J, I think it is. You go to Options, Mini Minimap Preset 1, and it's literally, you can change it to, see, position, bottom right. It's right there. Compass. Yeah, they're map settings. <laughs> don't be too smart. Map settings you. I don't mess with. Yeah, a lot of people don't mess with journey map. They just leave it. It's, it's oh, these are the default settings. So, like, I changed it to where up on the map is always the way I'm facing. And I've got the little north, south, east, west. So, it comes a little easier. For me, I can't see the little thing in the middle that's supposed to represent you turn if the map is fixed. I cannot see that turn very easily. I would rather have that up always be the direction I'm going and have the map spin. That's just, it's worked out better for me that way as I get older. Um, yeah, I'm so used to the map being in the upper right. I kind of like it in the lower, lower right. I've become accustomed to that. So, oh, um, this is the warehouse. This is the chicken coop. It does have a chicken coop and an advanced chicken coop. Um, this is the warehouse. This is amazing. And this isn't even the upgraded one. It's just raw storage, crafting tables, furnaces, more storage. There is a lower floor area with more storage. You could assign a floor to everyone. You could assign a nook to everyone if you wanted to. Like this is my area or whatever. And then there's an upper floor, which is mostly empty, but you can get an upgrade for this building that turns this all into potion brewing, nether wart growing, and enchanting. And it's really cool. Uh, it's a great building, but I mean, right now, this is all empty, so you can put your processing machines up here. You could put, like, ore processing, um, um, all your power generation, whatever. It's really cool. I, I really do like Prefab. It's turned into a very cool surprise to be in the pack. And, of course, because of the way these things work, it means that we're going to have a lot of um, stuff in the pack that's going to be... Uh, a more unified look that will be easier for people to build so they don't have to worry about, you know, oh, building a village that looks good or looks fits in. A lot of this is specifically designed to fit in with the vanilla aesthetic. If I remember right, uh, this we is the monster. headed south for some reason. I can't remember. This is the monster, sp monster basher. What did you say? Oh, God. We were headed south for some reason. We were headed south? Yeah, I wanted to show you these. Oh. <laughs> yeah. These are the actual prefab buildings. There is a starter house over here. This is the um, the starter building that's really cheap and easy to make a, pre a blueprint for. So it's very simple to set one of these up. And when you place it, it automatically puts a sign down that says this is Vagram's house or whatever. So if you put one down, it would say this is Foxbox Games house, which means if people use these, head to South Vagram is migrating. Thank you. Um, it starts you off with a little farming space looks decorative it looks nice you walk over here and you've got some storage you've got a bed you've got your crafting table and furnace and then there's a ladder preset all the way down to like y level 20 or 16 for mines it's super awesome there's even storage down there so uh, it's prefab has really turned into a good surprise so okay i'm going to teleport back to the casino space um boop I am there if you want to teleport back to me. Nope. Oh, you you, you did it. You've been a waypoint for it already. Okay. So, yeah. Prefab's awesome. I'm so used to the map being there. Uh, this is why I'm not part of Vagram's team. I'm an unorganized aggravation. Yeah, but Berg, just think about it. You'll be able to do prefab if you wanted to and get some preset buildings and make kind of like a bunker or a compound area where you've got a walled-in section that has some of those in them. There's a barn. There are stables. There's gardens, tree farms, um, there's chicken automation for, you know, just normal chickens and eggs and stuff like that. All sorts of great stuff. So, 
So yeah, I think this is going to be very cool. Let's get... I'm going to get some marble. There's a marble hive. Okay, interesting. Let's get a big tile. Yeah, okay, this is what... No, that's bad. Let's put this... Put all that up, actually. The hive doesn't do anything anymore. What did it do, Trunks? Oh, that's something else I forgot, too, I think. Yep, I, I forgot exchangers. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, we have not enough. We didn't have not enough wands. That's why I didn't put exchangers in there. Building wand. Swapping wand. I'm going to swap out some nonsense to see what it's going to look like. Do 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 do. It used to be the main hive you'd see in normal slash normal non forest slash non meadows biomes. Okay. Just kind of swapping away. Swappity swap it. Oh god, that's gross. Um, swappity swappity. Uh, 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 um. Yeah, I think this is gonna look cool. So I'm making a mental to-do list. We need to, uh I need to put in a crafting recipe for marble for wasted. Push out a wasted update. And then get that m same marble recipe and migrate it over to this mod pack. Da -da -da. I think this is going to look really nice. Um, dude, dude, dude. Five by five mode. Wait, what's the key bind to change that? J by default, I think. Maybe. Yay! Conflicts. Yep. Lots of mod conflicts. Unfortunately. Oops, went past. Ah! Went past again. There we go, single block. Do, do, do. Go over here and correct some issues. Um, Actually, yeah. it's equals. I think it's normally like equals. That's where I put my key bind for um, Hamana, Hamana, Hamana. Journey map. I'm weirdo. Yeah, okay. If we wanted to, we could have an observation area here. I like not... this marble. Oh my god. I like it. I think it's cool. It's called Marble Big Tile. Yeah, Big Tile. I think this and a couple of different variations of like Marble Column and stuff like that will look really nice for an external. And then we could do some more warmer earth tones for internal. Mmm. White list. Remove. Oh, okay. Now you're on the white list. Hey, Pops, what's going on? Playing as a bee. I can perceive a career bees playthrough. Playing as a bee. Actually, there is a nether wasp that you can actually be. It looks like a giant bee. And uh, it actually has flight capabilities like bats do. 
Yeah. Um. Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> yep, there you go. You will drive everyone else around you completely nuts, but you can be another wasp. It looks like a giant bee to me. Thank you, Preacher. Oh. <laughs> Boomplex is my alt, but an alt I no longer have access to. Yeah, it sounds like Ferg's old YouTube channel. I was flying around as a bee last night. Love this spawn area. Thank you very much. That spawn farm was worked on by Foxbot Gaming, myself, and Trunks, and I think a couple of other people. I think, oh yeah, Pops helped a whole bunch on it. Uh, we, it was a group effort, and we made that for the demo map that we actually took to um, Mindfair Houston. So a whole bunch of kids at Mindfair got introduced to this whole new world of modded Minecraft that they'd never heard of before. It was amazing. It was like bringing religion uh, to, you know, some foreign country. Really weird. Um, da, 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 da. Yes, I could get a builder's wand. I know this. Do, 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 and then we're just going to do... Ah, dear God, you scared the wits out of me. <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> I scared an egg out of you. <laughs> uh-huh. It literally scared scared a, a chicken egg out of me. Um, okay. Boom! Blex left the... Oh. Need to, did he update his... What did we do? Whitelist? Yeah, I reloaded the whitelist. I think he got, got kicked. No, because he's on the whitelist. Mm. He's, this is his internet. Oh, okay. So he timed out. I'm on 3G today. Ouch. Okay. Trunks connects from Scotland, so I know it's possible. Yeah, he timed out. Okay. Um. So, yeah, we could do that down there. I mean, right here. This could be, like, the pool bar and pool area. We could have some outdoor seating. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I wish we had been able to keep Tropicraft in the pack. is because they've got, like, umbrellas and seating and, you know beach stuff oh fiber's being put in that's right I think I think mr. boomplex just moved yeah I want I want to get some of that fibri myself I'd love me some fibri um yep high from the north of the wall <laughs> okay let's do uh, one step there we go we're going to have this going across. Uh, 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 um. Boop, like that. We're going to have some stairs. Maybe use something a little darker for the stairs. I'm thinking like maybe some polished granite blocks for stairs or something similar to that. Yeah, if we wanted to play up on the amount of like grass blocks that we have in contrast to the stone outside, we could use some of the willow tree wood that we have in the neighboring wetlands. Um, there's a lot of possibilities that we could do here, a whole bunch. Um, too bad I didn't have the ultra package for my internet. 400 down, 40 up. I just want something higher than five up. I'm so sick of Comcast. In a couple of months, once a lot of the benefits of being a Twitch affiliate probably start rolling in. Well, a couple of months. Probably it's been moved back to probably by the end of the year. But one thing I would really like to do is start working towards getting my internet replaced. I'm considering even putting a goal on stream for internet upgrade or monthly internet bill or whatever. Because it's going to be expensive because it's going to be AT&T. Uh, but, uh, hey, Mallrat. But, um... <clears throat> I think it would be uh, really nice to get off of this and switching over to Uverse. Uh, Uverse in here in Houston is very steady and very consistent, so that would be nice. I think that would look better. Oh gee, unlike a certain company we know. Yeah, Comcast is crap. I it's just criminal. They get away with murder. 
um, basically because there are really not a lot of affordable alternatives. So they can do whatever they want, and it's frustrating as heck. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm seeing possibilities here. So um, actually, building wand... Let's do an overhang. I can change this up a bit. Let's do... There we go. We're going to do some lighting trim of some kind. Maybe just glowstone blocks underneath it. Glowstone strip uh, underneath it. Or we could do some lamps under it. This is going to be the roof of the building. We could stand it up a little bit more and have the helicopter pad here. Um... Yeah, and these are going to be the resort rooms here in the main building. The casino is going to be inset into the actual mountain. I think it's going to be better that way. I don't want a casino room with windows. Um. Yeah, I'm all right. We've abducted Boomplex. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I'm trying to think what we'd put up here. Um, what do you think, box spot? Yep. Uh, this spot up here where I am, it kind of overlooks where the pool and like lounge area, lounging outdoor lounge is gonna be. What do you think we would put up here in this little thing? Like, do we want to make it a little building? Part of the you know resort offices, or do we want to make it more of that retail space we were talking about? Perhaps. Um, I was thinking, like, maybe the top of this up here could be, like, the quote-unquote corporate office. Oh, we could put the actual offices up here. Yeah, that'd be cool. We could swap out the very top of it. For, like, the big capital greed office that ever, that you see in <laughs> mafia movies where it's, like, the big mafia boss sits up there in his leather yeah. chair behind his massive desk. That'd be cool. Of course, a normal size desk is a massive desk to a chicken, but that's not the point. Um, um, jacuzzis. We could put jacuzzis. Now, the lifeguard tower, lifeguard tower is going to be over here near the... Um, we're going to have a lifeguard seat right here uh, between the pool's edge and the actual outside fence because that's where I'd put it. Um, let's see if he actually sticks. Uh, safety first. Um, nightclub. Eh. Boomplex says, I'm homeless, LOL. Just don't accept any drinks that you, they give you that you don't see made. Should totally have a DuckTales style vault. We're going to have one. DuckTales. Ooh. Ooh. Feel stable, man. <laughs> uh, um, I, yeah, that's going to be lower down underground. But there will be one. Um... You won't be able to dive in it. You'll be able to walk across the top of it, but you can't dive in the coins. We can't make that a thing. Um, I said there's a coin block from Chisels. Right, but you're still going to be diving into hard block. Uh, we still need to add one, uh, one more manual to that, but thanks for the idea. Our starter manual that all players receive. Let me see if we can figure it out here. Is an idea that I totally stole tome. from... Yeah, the Akashic Tome. It's totally an idea I stole from Boomplex. Um, it's You will get this starting off that's got all the handbooks and manuals for everything, minus one that we still need to add in, and I can't remember which one it was now. Um, Galacticraft, maybe? can't remember. I'm pretty sure this uh, overgrown stone doesn't spread. No, I think it's fixed. That being said, if we give it a EMC value, we could actually replicate more of it. I mean, it's just stone or grass block, right? We give it an EMC value of one. Um, sunlight. So yeah, you're going to start off with this. It's got all these things in it. It's very, very useful. Very nice. And uh, I, I ripped off the idea from Mr. Boomplex. So, <laughs> um, it drops normal cobblestone so you'd have to silk touch. Right, but it's still possible. You could silk touch one, or no. You know how you can do it? You can exchange wand it. You make oh. a sword. 
you make a swapping wand and swap it with just like dirt or stone and you get one block that is un that is pristine you stick it in your project e uh transmutation table and you can um not ripped off it's an idea shared thank you um you could make one out of emc later if you wanted to i think this is gonna go i think this is probably just gonna be all the way to the edge of the edge okay yeah. um yeah 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 Marat says, well, we could make a coin fluid. What would that even look like, though? Should totally have a DuckTales. I don't know. want to know. That sounds like a complicated rendering solution. Feel free to help yourself to more of the scripts. I am, LOL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've got the DuckTales on stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Tales of daring do bad and good luck tales. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -dum. There's a stranger out to find you. No, wait a minute. No, that's right. You got it out of order, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of order is the problem. Anyway, whatever. I could start singing the gummy bears and wipe that out. Wipe out ducktails if I wanted to. Um... Hey, Preach! What the heck? What happened to your skin, man? You, there, you... What? Oh, Where? that's a... That's the bee suit. Oh, <laughs> that's the bee armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bee armor! You're just going to be walking around flailing in pain going, Bees! All the time. That's what happens when you wear it, right? Wouldn't that be just molten metal? Yeah, we could get, we could uh, liquefy like copper or gold, but I don't think we can pour it out into the world. Yeah, it needs a recipe. If you want to suggest a recipe, I'll be happy to add one. I don't know what they do. There's probably no recipe for a reason, though. <clears throat> um. No, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Son of a gun. Um... Where's the destruction wand? <laughs> yeah. If we wanted to, we could have space under this and windows that looked out. That could be cool. We could do a glass bottom pool instead of a glass bottom pond. Maybe all sorts of weird. The BB gun doesn't have a recipe. Yeah, the B stuff, the B gear doesn't have a recipe. And from what I've been told, it was not given a recipe because it's not ready yet so i mean we could give it it has one too what i think does the it? i think the armor does i don't know preacher says doesn't i have no clue yep yeah the bee oh. armor has honeycomb ingots which are made no they are made by honey smelter Okay, let's do a. And then the gun can be made too, but I've never been able to fill it. Uh, last time I asked, somebody said that the B gear was not ready for prime time. Don't know. Um. We could do. Let's... If you're planning on doing like a secret door there. I mean, we could. We could have a secret door out from the uh, uh, from the maintenance areas. That replaced a lot more underneath. Thanks. Wand. I kind of think we want to do... I've never gotten it to work. What? The BB gun with honey in a bottler. BB gun was honey in a bottler when I tried it in a dev version. Not sure if in release. Yeah. Don't know. Uh, okay, we wanted to. We could do a decorative kind of a thing here. That's option number one. Is just have like a, a green wall. Put some vines or something down it. Um, option number two is retail space, glass front, decorative trim. And we just hollow back into this area and just make it a tiny little kind of a, you know, retail space again. Kind of like we could put some over here as well if we wanted to, like you were talking about. 
And then option number three. I is, was thinking we could put maybe some retail here and then maybe put some decorative thing here. Well, because I cleared this out over here thinking already for decorative. Okay, so if we put decorative here, and then we're gonna have retail here, that would be really cool. And I mean, we could just do like a little space with like a tree and a decorative wall backdrop, you know, even if it's nothing else. And then this is gonna be a wall of multi story retail. We're gonna have at least two floors, if not three, on this thing right here. And then we can start leasing out some space to people, um, i.e. they can have it as long as they don't do anything dumb with it. Malwart says, go to the lamb chop. What? Oh, go, could go for lamb chop. What? B. Arthur armor. Oh, that's horrible, Kugus. Oh. Uh, nope. Thank you, Automod. And thank you, Trunks. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. For all your B needs. I would like one retail shop, please. Oh, I, dude, we're going to have, uh, I'm thinking, one on top of the elevator and vending machines bank. We're going to have probably two spots there. I'm thinking a couple right over here near the high roller suites. We're going to have at least three here. And I'm going to have, I'm thinking... One down here in the gardens. I don't know if I want to put it on this wall or on this wall. Then we're going to have the casino floor. The casino is going to have a food court area across from it. So if you're going to actually have like a food based product that you're going to be selling or want to be trading, we're going to have a space for that. So yeah. Um, we're going to have, I'm thinking at least probably 10, maybe 12 slots. Some people might take up two, two different businesses, two different purposes. We're going to have a lot of kind of decorative slots that we're going to be using for ourselves for RP slash non-functional things. Um, hello, chicken brethren. Cliff? Who's Cliff? Oh, that's the other thing I got to work on. I need to make some custom skins. I'm going to need a bellhop skin. He was stuck on a cliff, so you named him Cliff. Thank you, Dark Preacher. My beesness is going to be called Beehive Yourself. Oh, God. I'm dying already. I'm surrounded by dad joke experts. Dark Preacher was bad enough. Um, yeah. So I'm seeing a lot of potential here. I want to do a, uh, a bellhop designed chicken outfit. So we have, you know, chickens named bellhops that we can stick in various places and leech them down. Um, yeah, I can't help it. I'm a dad. Yeah, so is Boomplex. Uh, it's horrible. Um, uh, we going to want to do uh, uh, maybe like service rep or I can't remember what the name of a person that works behind the counter. Um, oh, you have a list of people I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot. Basically, I want to have like two or three named positions that have custom chicken outfits that they're wearing. So there's two outside that we have leashed down that are called bellhops that look like bellhops. Receptionist or clerk? Yeah, receptionist and probably some clerks. And we can put some clerks around behind various counters to make the place look occupied. I think that'd be awesome. Cashier? Yeah. Yeah, I think that could be really, really cool. And this is pretty much exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, Foxbot, right away, I'm seeing probably what, I'm not even supposed to be here today, what does that mean, Preach? We're not getting you in trouble, are we? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep. Clark's reference. I don't even know who's supposed to be here, man. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I missed the reference. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing. Okay, where did that go? Where did what go? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, see, we've got like I spots. I dropped an item and it just disappeared. Uh, it probably did the teleport thing. You might have to turn your item magnet on and fly around. Uh, oh, off. I what did you drop? In better. Yeah, I had my item magnet on. Go figure. So this is what I was thinking. Like, you've got this nice decorative walls, but then there's nature on top of some aspects of it. We're gonna have some grass blocks and some stone. Maybe some gravel. I do think gravel is a little ugly. Might cut back on the gravel some, but I'm not gonna be terribly picky on it. Um, yeah. So I kind of want building merged with nature, so to speak. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Like what we might do is from here down along this line, we might swap this out. Actually, I tried that earlier and I didn't think it looked nice. What the kind of erratic shape? No, not the erratic shape. I did like that tile right across here. I, I well, guess we, can, we could do it there. Uh, well, My main concern was the transition. Yeah, we can find something that looks a little bit more fitting. We might want to want to find something that is not quite as white. A different color block to offset this, but we can figure something out. The main thing is right now, what we do... Cloud! Cloud? What? Cloud. Cloud stripes? We chiseled cloud. Oh, uh, yeah, we do have clouds that we could actually use. I, I, I have an idea for that, but we'll, we'll circle back around to it. So what we could do is basically this is all going to be, you know, swapped out below that line down. It would be swapped out. And then we'll have some inset glass in here to see into the retail space behind there. And people could use like the armor stands to put armor on them or clothing, so to speak. Um, uh, you know, display uh, items in item frames in front of the windows, all sorts of stuff. And I figure we'll have ground floor here. And then we'll probably right about here-ish. Nope. Will be a floor where the second floor will start. White concrete. Do we want to use that instead of the marble? It's a little blank. It, this is just like, this is that big tile chisel, so it's going to look like the floor. There That's are, true. I can do like the tiles. Yeah. So it'll My look just like that. My big thing is I figured we'd want something a bit more, like, to pop a bit more than this, like, white quartz block of quartz stuff on the walls. You know, something that's not white. We want something that's either closer to the tones we got in the mountains or whatever for the walls. The floors, I definitely think I want white. Definitely. I do prismarine, but um, that would take a lot to get. And I think Prismarine might look a little weird. I have a chef of staff, a oh, chief of staff named Cluxworth. Copper highlights, <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe some nice chiseled gold blocks. I don't think we can afford that. Um, I do think we could do some copper block like veneer. We put just a block of it. We have some stuff that's like stone, but one face of it is um, copper block. So we can put it down and just have one, the one face show out that's pretty or whatever, you know? And then we could twist them around however facing we want them. Um, I, I think we could do something like that for accent or, you know, just a lower level. Prismine is as easy as nether quartz. Yeah. We've got a lot of, we've still got time to work on this. The big thing is I wanted to kind of spitball about the space and where everything's gonna be, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Atomic Reconstructor. Oh yeah, right. That's right. Actually, additions Atomic Reconstructor. You throw things in front of it, and it turns it into something else. You can make quartz and prismarine with it that way. So one of the things I missed in um, Wasted was not having that block. Yeah. Plus chickens. Well, chickens take some working up to, especially if you want to do it a lot easier. It sounds hard doing the Chickens have three attributes, and you have to get them all from 1, 1, 1 to 10, 10, 10. A lot of people, what they do is they'll get the chickens, and they'll just force their way through the breeds and not worry about the numbers. But if you get your first set of chickens to 10, 10, 10, all, all three stats, both chickens, and then start doing crossbreeding that way, it makes the rest of the work long term a lot easier if you maintain that 10, 10, 10 curve, because then you have a lot less work you have to do. Because if you do two 10-10-10s, then you're going to end up with a, I think, a 7-7-7. You get those two together. 
uh, and you do a, I think it's going to end up with like a 555 or a 444 or something like that, and it it degrades. I played the hell out of chickens and hatcheries in uh, uh, SF3. Used to give a 999. There's a setting for it. And like in Coop Life, the setting was half. It defaulted to half, 50%. Sky Factory 3. Yeah, it defaulted in in Coop Life. We left it at default. Hey, Preach. And it and it was um, half. So if you had 10 10 10s and you bred them together, you would get a 5 by 5. And Preacher's his bat. <laughs> yeah, I just left it that way. Yes. The dark bat. I am the knight. Ah. Maybe some nice chisel gold blocks. Blah, 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 blah. I'm catching up on chat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, we will have, certain things will become easier because we'll have chickens, but we're going to have to work into a lot of the chickens. And uh, Boomplex says, Welp, I found my place. Dare I ask? It's not anywhere near us. Not showing up on the map. Oh, five, it's five. just a giant lake. <laughs> Gonna be a is it gonna be a squid playthrough? Um, Boomplex, if you're gonna actually embrace your inner animal and you want to make a custom skin or maybe politely ask somebody to make you one, uh, we can get it in the pack so you can look like something beyond like me not being a chicken. I'm a chicken with sunglasses, etc. etc. Um yeah, I got to think about what accent blocks we want to use. I don't want to go too ostentatious on the outside. If I'm going to do copper block accents, I want to do it inside, especially around the casino area. Water is most reliable, normal, normal climate for bee breeding. Ah, okay. You and Trunks should go into bees nest together. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, Pirate Tech's back. Hey, Pirate Tech, what's going on? Sorry I missed some of the fun. We here at GameSync got very busy. That's cool. That's understandable. I definitely, definitely can sympathize with that. Um, if you want, boom, um, I can make you some animal skins. I just need your MC skin. Build by the coast so I can use the ocean. That makes sense. Okay, but we've got plans. We've got things we're doing here. We are in the last three minutes of the live stream already. Good grief. Time blue. Okay. I think what we can do is we can do some... Hello, Cliff. Yeah, Cliff, our chicken. Uh, we could do some office space over here and then kind of have it curve around. So we have some offices built on top of this ridge line with some windows. And then have the elevators in here that go straight up to the head office. That could be really cool. High Alchemist Mall Rat has joined the server. What? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. High Alchemist? What the heck is that from? It's, I've, I'm pretty convinced it's the uh, Patreon name <laughs> the patreon thing for what for um project e. oh oh okay weird project e likes me okay that's funny that's that is hilarious will you be streaming again tonight i am not streaming it's friday night we're doing movie night which reminds me let me swap out of the camera real quick before i forget I am going to announce right now, I forgot to post it on this calendar, but, but it, we did plan it out last week. We are doing a Night of Sci-Fi Movies tonight. It is going to be Night of the Comet, followed by Night of the Lepus. Now, unfortunately, for all of our UK friends, our European friends, this is 8 p.m. Texas time, which basically means it's like 2 a.m. for you. But you're more than welcome to come hang out if you want to. Um, we are going to be doing, uh, yeah, next stream will be Monday. Um, but we're going to be doing uh, Night, of the, Night of the Comet and Night of the Lepus, two very bad, very good movies. I cannot wait to share with all those wonderful folks here in the community that have not seen them yet. We're going to be doing that at 8 p.m. Texas time. We'll start off with Night of the Comet, 
Um, we use rabbit, R-A-B-B dot I-T slash Vagram. Make sure you send me an, a, a friend request on the platform because we have to lock the room to keep the riffraff out. And you won't be able to join if you don't send a friend request to Vagram, me. So we're going to be doing that this evening. I hope everybody can come along and hang out online, watch some bad movies with us, and generally enjoy things. My next live stream, if you scroll down, there's a little calendar thing underneath the uh, um, the video player and the, all the about tabs and stuff like that. Um, there is a schedule on there as well as a little interactive calendar thing that'll show you how long it is till my next live stream. Next one's going to be Monday evening, 8 p.m. Texas time. We are potentially going to be getting started with Coop Life 2. We'll see. Um, it kind of depends on how the weekend will go. First episode, we might not have quests, but I might go ahead and reset the server so people can actually get started going. And uh, I think that'll be a good thing. Otherwise, uh, I will see you folks later. Vox, do you have any words of wisdom to share with the audience? No, I don't. Okay. I always check, just in case. <laughs> um, <laughs> you might have get struck by brilliance. Uh, otherwise, see you folks later. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Uh, go hug a loved one or uh, a, a pet. Do something. Bye.